In this video today, I want to show you how to turn an indicator into a trading system. A lot of indicators in the trading world, but how do you back test those? There's no clear way. You plot the indicator, you mainly look at all the trades, and if you're not a programmer, one of the easiest things you can do is to take indicators in TradeStation and turn them into trading systems. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Uh, this is the moving average two-line indicator, and basically it plots a fast and slow moving average. And we're going to take this, we're going to turn it to a strategy. So best thing you can do, you can open up this indicator in your TradeStation platform if you have that. You copy it. And you can do this, you can go new, uh, strategy, and we're going to say um, example one, moving average to line, simple abbreviation here. And now what you get is a template for creating strategies, and we're gonna, just going to delete that. We're going to delete that, we're going to paste the indicator. So now what we have in the strategy is an indicator, and it won't work. So if you try to verify it, it won't work because this word is not allowed in a strategy. Plot, plot's not allowed. So let's remove the comments. There's a search tag if you want to search for strategies. Let's just remove that to make it simple. We're going to keep the inputs. We're going to keep the variables. We're going to keep these fast and slow conditions. We're going to remove these comments. And then we're going to look at, um, uh, let's, let's remove these plots. So we can remove the plots. And from this point to this point, inputs, variables, and then your definitions for fast and slow moving average, which average FC. Anytime you see anything in purple, that's a function. And so what you can do is, is if the displace is greater than or equal to zero, um, or the current bar is greater, just make sure there's more than one bar on the chart. And also make sure that your displacement is greater than zero. You can't have a negative number for your displacement because you can't look forward. Um, a positive number for displacement looks back. And so a negative number would look forward. And you can't look forward. So um, then you begin. And then so if alert enabled and displace is less than or equal to zero, begin. So what you can do here is if fast is crossed above slow average, then instead of alerting, then you want to buy. Uh, we want to place a buy order. Let's place a buy order. So then buy next bar at market. Else if fast average crosses under slow average, then alert, bearish alert. So then we can sell short. Sell short next bar at market. So you have those here. Let's see if it compiles. And it, we cannot do that. We cannot program it like this. We have to modify this a little bit. What I want to do is I want to um, I want to remove some of this code just to make it really really simple. So I'm going to remove all of this displacement, begin, alert criteria. We're gonna we're gonna remove that. So we're just gonna have this if the fast. Average it crosses over the slow moving average, then buy next bar at market. Then let's let's go back here. If fast average crosses under slow average, then sell short next bar at market. And we don't need these end statements because that was with the previous code. And so then we can and we compile it. And so then it works and you have your strategy. So next we can test this on the chart. We'll do that next. So this is um, this is the result of the strategy. When you insert the strategy, what it is, what it insert strategy, and then I pick example moving average two line, and um, I don't want to insert it again. So let's remove it, and you see what happens when you get a nine and eighteen moving average crossover. You can view the strategy performance summary. Go view strategy performance report. And this is what you get. So not a great strategy. But we did learn how to program it. So a lot of work needs to still still needs to be done to this strategy. You could add time frame entries. You could um, you could add stop loss. You could add end of day exits and all this stuff. But in general, basic simple moving averages don't typically work in the long run. You might find periods of time where they work, 
but this is one example of how to program an indicator into a strategy and backtest it. Not everything you do, most things you do, most things you test will not work. In my experience, it takes a lot of time and effort to build a strategy. And this is just one way to get started if you're not a programmer. This is how I got started using Easy Language and TradeStation by converting indicators into strategy and then learning from other examples that had code in them.